Hey guys, Derek here. Welcome back to the channel or welcome for the first time if you are new. Uh, we are here to watch Tales of the Empire. Uh, may the fourth be with you. Very excited for this. Um, this is six uh, shorts, essentially. They're all around like 13 to 15 minutes long and they're centered around Empire characters. So the first three, I believe, are centered around Morgan Elsbeth and Thrawn. And then the last three are focused around Beresafi and her like Inquisitor journey. The This video is going to be focused, I think I'm going to do the first three episodes in this video. So the ones focusing on Morgan Elsbeth. I'm pretty excited. Looks like we're going to see um, uh, freaking, what's his name? Why can't I give his name? Not Count Dooku. Uh, General Grievous. <laughs> I was like, why can't I think of his name? Staring at his face. Um, we're going to see Grievous, we're going to see Thrawn, we're going to see a lot of cool things happen, uh, and I'm pretty excited. Tales of the Jedi was super fun. We literally just finished uh, season three of The Bad Batch the other day, so like we're kind of on a Star Wars high at the moment. I wish, oh my god, if I had more money, if I had money, I, I wanted to buy a ticket to Star Wars Celebration in Japan so bad, like that was... That was at the highest amount. Like, that's the top of my list of what I wanted to do, but I'm poor, so I couldn't do that. Um, the, the, I mean, the ticket to the, the conference itself wasn't a, a ton, but the plane tickets are insane. Um, regardless, we're riding a Star Wars high, and I'm super excited for this. Um, like I said, I'm going to watch the first three episodes in this video, and I'm not going to talk much between each one of them, um, but then at the end of the three, then I'll give like a longer uh, discussion. <laughs> and then and then we're going to uh, have the second three episodes um, for another video. So if you're looking for, for that, <laughs> you know, if you're looking for the Beresafi reactions, that'll be coming soon. Um, just stay seated. Don't worry. I got to edit it out. You know, take some time to edit these videos. But I'm particularly excited for this. So... Before we jump into it, if you end up enjoying my reaction, please leave a like on the video. It means a lot to me. If you're new here or you find yourself coming back often, hit subscribe, ring the bell so you're notified when I upload. And then if you are interested in seeing the full uncut versions for any of these reactions, consider checking out my Patreon or YouTube memberships, both linked in the description down below. You just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me. Since this is kind of like the first episode of a new show or a new season, um, that uncut's going to be completely free and public for anyone to check out. I'm probably going to just have the first three episodes then. Like, I'll, I'll probably have the first three episodes in this case be, you know, free for anyone to check out. And if, if, if you find that that's something you're interested in going forward, uh, then definitely consider subscribing. But other than that, let's watch some Tales of the Empire. We're starting on uh, Dathomir, maybe. Damn, we're just diving straight into this. Thing just keeps coming. Stand your ground. Damn. Let's go. Come on. Oof. Grievous just smoked you. <laughs> Assassin droids. Grievous looks so good, dude. Oh, he is good at what he does. Lady, I think you're gonna die. <laughs> he 
Yeah, turns out he has extra arms. and telling her to run. Damn, how are these droids not hitting anything? Yeah, hide in the tree. That's smart. There's no way the droid is that good. No way. That droid is incredible. Damn, she is. She's good. I mean, she could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ahsoka at the end, so we know she's good. God, hearing him laughing. Just the intro. Oh my god, the path of fear. What a way to start it. Just watching Grievous massacre some people. With the power of the Night Sisters broken, their spells have faded. You're fortunate to be alive. Dang. Her cool tattoos are gone. Holy cow. The environmental animation right now is kind of wild. Is this still, this is still a death mirror. Oh my God, this looks so good. I'm afraid there's nothing left of your people. You are welcome to stay with the mountain clan until you decide your new path. Her new path is revenge. <laughs> so not everyone on Dathmere is killed. Just the Night Sisters. Look at how good that animation looks. Holy shit, dude. That's insane. They animated every grain of sand. And what if they don't stop there? What if they come looking for us in the mountains? That's not going to happen. Yeah, they won't. The hunt is today. The Warby. hunt. You may join Nali if you feel so inclined. What are we hunting? The droids are still hunting. We're safe enough here in the mountains. After what you safe seen, enough. Do you really believe that's true? Yeah, they looking for you. I could help you. You need only ask. How are you gonna do that? I watched my mother die. Are you prepared for the same? Knowing there was more you could have done to prevent it? What would you have me do? That's a cool ass door. You don't want to stand too close to it though. Knock you unconscious. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Pretty bitchin'. God, that's so many. They don't even know how to use these, man. They're cooked. Like, 
good luck. Whoa. She was the. Did she use the force? Where is my daughter? Oh, she's super dead. Mother. Our. Our way is true. I'm sorry. Damn. You told her, are you prepared to watch your mother die? And now her mother has to watch her die. Big yikes. It appears your path is set, Morgan Elspeth. I pity you, for I can see what is to come. Yeah. She knows what you will do. What a solid first episode. That was good. I liked that a lot. Coruscant. Star Destroyers are so big. That looks like a super Star Destroyer. These designs allow for increased maneuverability and lower fuel consumption. And most important, shields to better protect your pilots and keep them on the field of battle for longer intervals. Yep, but they're hella expensive. How feasible is the production of these starships? Super feasible, brother. My base of operations is on Corvus, a planet ripe with raw goods and materials. As are many of the planets in that star system. Strip those planets, baby. <laughs> Unfortunately, we will not be moving forward on this deal with you. Why? Why is that? Tarkin wants money elsewhere. Our interest was never in your plans. These fertile systems, however, now those the resources are they'll interesting. take. This is sophisticated work. Paleon. <laughs> you change the engine manifold. My superior sends me to these meetings to search for people with a particular vision. An artistic However, vision. I have a question for you. Do you like paintings? Why is it that you want to lend your substantial talents and vision to the Empire? It's a good question. Why for the glory of the Empire, of course. I see. Well, then, you're not as interesting as we thought. Give him a more interesting reason. The path of anger. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Dang, look how nice this planet looked. When we see this planet in the Mandalorian, it's, all the trees are stripped. Everything is awful, except for her little spot. Were you successful? No. But you promised us work and prosperity. <laughs> when I found your village, you were nothing. Just one of a thousand backwater worlds rotting away. I gave you strength to control the local systems. And we let you run our lives. We worked for that success. You promised us wealth. We sacrificed for you. You lie, Magistrate. Yeah, Yo, you trying to throw hands with her? She'll take you one on one. <laughs> Who wants to step up? Why am I, like, siding with the bad guys? 
That, uh, what's his face? You work for Thrawn. Do you? I think, right? I forgot his name. If, it, if it's who I'm thinking of. She's good. They're all watching her. See how much absolute sauce this lady has? You villagers think you gonna step up on her? Who sent you? Thrawn. Who sent you? Well done, Magistrate. <sighs> Paleon. What the heck, Thank dude? You, Rook. I knew it was Rook. <laughs> I look forward to working with Rook's you. got the sauce, brother. He's an absolute champion. Invisible History little freakazoid. Is the witches of Dathomir. Oh, God, I love him. To witness a display of your particular skills. Why not experience them firsthand? Oh, you misunderstand. He doesn't like to get his hands dirty. He can, but. Who are you? Admiral Thrawn. The Empire is a magnificent construct. However, it's not without its vulnerabilities. Your designs are brilliant, but not cost-effective. Many in the Empire will trade lives for profit. Over time, this will create a weak and disillusioned military. The Empire will slowly crumble. Why do you care? He needs a strong Empire to defeat his enemies. Why? Do you seek Imperial favor? Tells the truth. He will know. Revenge. Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. Who are you going to take revenge against, though? My anger gives me strength. And it is that strength that I offer. The Empire. Offer accepted. Yeah. Long live the Empire. Long live the Empire indeed. Wow, that one felt like it went so quick. It was only 12 minutes. That one felt like it went real fast. <laughs> but uh, she is now working for Thrawn. It's cool to see her uh, joining Thrawn's team, so to speak. <sighs> Some of these trees are getting stripped, bruh. Ahsoka's gonna come and free these people. It's a cool design. I don't think I've seen that design of a alien before. Open the gate in the name of the New Republic. No. <laughs> so 
So this is after the Empire has fallen. Nadura? Is that you? Hello, Wing. Yeah. Oh, okay. The Galactic Empire was defeated. You don't know? They don't know anything. <laughs> what has Magistrate Elspeth done? No one has seen her in a long time. Yet her guards keep us working night She's and day. She's just meditating. Everything has changed. Maybe even Magistrate Elspeth. Let's see. Um, I don't think that's gonna work in your favor. The path of hate. Hate leads to suffering. Is she coming out? Hello. Magistrate Elspeth, I am here on behalf of the New Republic. I brought a petition to the Senate for Corvus to become a member planet. However, first you must step down and relinquish your control of the local systems. Uh, she says no. I remember you, Nadura. You left many years ago because it did not suit you to work in our factories. You felt it was beneath you. Yeah. You have all but enslaved these people. Facts. I've had a vision. And I will fulfill my destiny. I won't allow that to happen. I hope you're prepared to back up that statement. Please. <laughs> one v one me. Turn yourself in. Please. I can help you get a fair trial. <sighs> Respectfully? Don't burn everything down around you. Fair trial these nuts. <laughs> She's about to throw hands with you. Kill her. Sorry, dude. All right, send a distress signal. <laughs> Can she make it out? Not likely. Oh, no. Big yikes. Damn, we're just torching it. The fires will continue burning. You will work night and day. But you do so knowing that you will be part of an effort that will save our galaxy from ruin. Nah, fam. Be brave. No matter how dark things get. I can't. You can. You're gonna have to. To Strex signal sent. Help will come. Ahsoka's coming, baby. But you must be ready to do your part. Even if it is small. Who is this? Bo-Katan Kreese. Come in. Who is this? No one is coming. Somebody be coming. Ahsoka be coming. 
Oh. Dang. Okay, the first three episodes of uh, Tales of the Empire in the books. So far, I'm enjoying it. Um, one thing I want to point out is visually stunning. <laughs> like, holy cow. That's, that's one thing that... Um, you don't quite always appreciate, but like every single new Star Wars animated property, there's just like tiny bit of leaps or tiny steps, sometimes leaps forward in animation quality. And that is uh, one thing that I noticed <laughs> very clearly in this episode uh, or in these three episodes, but specifically the first one is that like the animation quality holy cap some of the environments look i mean it looks like they straight up <laughs> came like right out of unreal engine 5 or something just just wild stuff how well animated it looks how good it looks like the like the quality of the assets and the and the actual like <laughs> like things themselves look so good like the physical quality looks so good um, so I just want to point that out immediately. Like even, I feel like even the end of the Bad Batch, <laughs> like the like the season finale of the Bad Batch, I don't know if that even looked this good in terms of its like animation quality. Like that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy how good this looks. Um, the the first episode opening with uh, the with Grievous massacring the witches of Dathomir. What a way to start. Like, crazy, crazy start. Just listening to Grievous, like, cackle maniacally as the droids just decimate this clan of women. Just insane. <laughs> just crazy, crazy stuff. Um, and the fact that, like, Grievous looks incredible. His model is insane. It looks so good. Um, watching the Night Sisters fight is always fun. Um, but... Yeah, he just he destroys them all. She goes to like the mountain clan, um, who looks like it looks like they use. It kind of looks like they use the force as well, um, but the the lady that used it, she looked like she used maybe like the light side of the force. I mean, it was like white. It wasn't the typical like green that the witches of Dathomir use. It wasn't like. It didn't seem like dark side but like dathomir is a planet that's like steeped in the dark side so i don't know maybe the the mountain clan specifically they adhere to the light side of the force or just the force in general i don't know um but that was uh that was cool to see her kind of pop off kill a whole bunch of droids um unfortunate that morgan got her <laughs> daughter killed and then episode two t episode two is really cool seeing uh Pelion and uh seeing like the the um the new updated versions for like the tie fighters that um we hear about in like the Thrawn books that was uh <laughs> that, was, that was the source of um so much beef between Tarkin and Thrawn is Thrawn wanted a whole bunch of money for these tie fighters like they were hella expensive but Thrawn was like I like them they're good and I think they could be very useful. But Tarkin is like, nah, fam, <laughs> like, that costs too much money. I want that money for my projects. And so, like, these two are just beefing. <laughs> just beefing the whole time in the, in the books. Um, <laughs> and eventually, eventually, just like the end of the Bad Batch, Thrawn, or Tarkin, Tarkin gets his money, bruh. <laughs> Tarkin is going to find a way to get them funds, get that paper, uh, he needs that for his his projects, um, but it was cool to see Thrawn uh, appear in in uh, in this thing, and it was cool to see Rook. Um, Rook is a character you hear about in the books in the Thrawn trilogy, and is a very interesting character. Just a gruff, angry little monster man <laughs> who's always like cloaked. He's always invisible doing stuff. Um, cool to see him in this. He can, dude can absolutely throw hands. This dude, he's sauced up the wazoo. He's so good. 
Um, and it's cool to see her be able to, to take him on 1v1 and get to the bottom of why she joined the Empire. For revenge. She joined for revenge, except all the people she wants revenge against are already dead. <laughs> so, like, what? what's the point at this at this point? Like, come on now. Like how are like how are you supposed to get revenge on Grievous? Grievous got cooked by the Jedi, uh, so you know it is what it is. But she's working with Thrawn, and then Episode Three, just seeing the village that she's essentially like taken control of. Um, the Empire's gone. The New Republic strolls in and is like, "Hey, you're a criminal. <laughs> you should step down uh, and and do your thing." She is like, "Nah." kill them all <laughs> and luckily um the, the the representative is able to get that distress signal out and it is answered by Bo-Katan Kreese who eventually relays it to Ahsoka Tano relays it to Ahsoka and relays it to Mando at some point you know she uh she she lets Mando know this is where you can find her. And then they, uh, Ahsoka wrecks house and just destroys that village's uh, mercenaries and kicks Morgan Elizabeth's butt, takes her spear, and is like, where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? So cool. Overall, in terms of like actual story, <laughs> it didn't really give a whole lot, these three episodes. That's the only bummer is like, the Tales, Tales of the Jedi, I feel like, added some cool supplemental things. But um, so far, these first three episodes, it didn't give a whole lot in terms of the actual story. It kind of filled in, like, 1% of missing story that we were curious about. Basically, it was just kind of cool. <laughs> it was just kind of cool. Um, I assume the next three episodes are where we're actually going to get some cool, interesting like story tidbits on a character we haven't seen in a long time and that is Barisafi. But uh, that's what I have to say about these first three episodes. Definitely let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. I'm very curious to see how you guys feel. Um, I'm gonna be watching the next three episodes uh, right now but the video for it might not come till you know a day or two from now who knows but yeah let me know all your thoughts in the comments otherwise if you enjoyed my reaction please leave a like on the video it means a lot to me it helps my channel grow uh, if you're new here or you find yourself coming back often hit subscribe ring the bell so you're notified when i upload and then if you want to see the full uncut versions of these reactions consider supporting me on patreon or joining youtube memberships you just sync up your own copy of the show and you can watch along with me Again, since this is kind of like the first episode uh, or episodes of a new season or a new show, the uncut for episodes one through three is going to be completely free and public for anyone to check out. And if you find that that's something you're interested in going forward, then your support would mean the world. But other than that, thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time.